very different than conventional hydrological conditions. This is a karst aquifer, that means it's anisotropic and it is not homogeneous. Okay, that is a completely different ball game and not everybody knows how to model that, those systems. Regionally speaking, you can have regional models like, okay, the, generally the water flows southeast or southwest, you can talk about them, but in terms of local modeling, like this spring, for example, what happens if we pump this much water to the springs of, I don't know, Silver Springs or, you know, uh, Falmouth Springs, what happens? You know, th these are really hard questions, could not be answered by conventional groundwater models that rely on homogeneous isotropic conditions known as Darcy assumptions. They, you cannot use those models. They're not going to give you anything. Unfortunately, as far as I know, most of these models are based on this homogeneous isotropic conditions, that, which is not true. I mean, you, in cost, you know, you, know you, you can do a hole here, you hit the cave, and you can do a hole here, you've got rough, nothing really. So the permeability here is infinite, right. and permeability here is like, I don't know, next to zero. Mm -hmm. So how is it homogeneous? How is it isotropic, you know? It is extremely difficult to model these things. And unfortunately, most of the USGS models are based on Darcy models. You know, they, do, they work fine in alluvium aquifer, in sandstone aquifer. So John, I have a question. 